Well, Shep, women do have a role in the Savages' plan. As you just said, of course, it's being oppressed and hidden. Oh, but you are free to kill and be killed in the fight. The Islamic State Manifesto on women, reportedly not the official Islamic State law yet, but a guide for now, they say. What ISIS fighters are enforcing is they rape and murder their way across Iraq and Syria. And here's what it's like to live under them. Girls, as Shep just said, as young as nine years old, can marry. Females must stay behind closed doors, going out only for exceptional reasons. Living hidden and veiled and at the service of men who are described as their masters. Fashion shops, or clothing stores as we would call them, and beauty salons are denounced as the work of the devil. And women should not be corrupted by working a job unless there are no men to perform that job, like, say, be a doctor or wage jihad, in which case you can leave the house, I understand, for three or four days at a time. From what I'm reading, Shep, a lot of this is about the things that women do being demonic and how Western cultures have failed the minute women left their homes unveiled to work and live freely. And from what I've been able to find out, it was first published on a jihadi forum in Arabic last month, and it's now being enforced by an all-female militia inside ISIS that's called the al Qansa Brigade. And that is headed by a British 20-year-old. And her parents say they've been pleading for her return for months. They wanted her to come home. Now she's reportedly been joined by 60 or so other British women to make sure little girls, teenagers, women of all ages follow the rules that I just told you about. And that's the other part of this. Women choosing to join ISIS. They'll live under the rules I just outlined. There's reportedly a big social media push to make the sedentary life, as it's called in this manifesto, and being advertised on jihadi sites look tempting. Here's a picture that allegedly shows a woman with her new husband. He looks very happy. Can't really tell what she's thinking. The headline though, ISIS men marrying children. Sounds more like an army of pedophiles. Shep.